Whether your watch crown has broken off or you want a new style, you don't have to throw your favorite watch away. Use this guide from Esslinger.com to learn how to measure a watch crown without the crown so you can order a replacement and keep wearing your favorite watch. You can tell that your watch crown is a waterproof one by checking on the watch case for a stamp of water resistant or waterproof. Watches with this marking will have a waterproof crown. Watches without this marking will have a dustproof crown. Dustproof watch crowns will be lacking the case tubes you see on watch cases with waterproof crowns, but since case tubes can fall out of waterproof watches, you should always check the watch case to see if it is marked as water resistant or waterproof. You'll need a digital gauge and a notepad and pen. The first thing you will need to do is determine the diameter of the missing watch crown. To do this, you will need the watch case and your digital gauge. Hold the watch case in your hand so that the hole where the crown used to be is clearly visible and easily accessible. You should be able to see a small cutout or indent around the hole for the watch stem where the crown would sit. This is the diameter you will measure. Take your gauge and position the jaws over the indent. Open them until they stretch snugly from one edge of the indent to the other. Repeat this measurement to ensure you have an accurate result and then record the diameter on your notepad. Next, you will need to find the opening size of your crown. Measure the case tube if it is a waterproof crown. A dustproof watch will not have a case tube, therefore, you will not need this measurement. Note, if you are missing the case tube for your waterproof watch crown, you will need to take your watch to a professional to get the crown replaced. Holding the watch case on its side in your hand, take your digital gauge and use the regular jaws to measure the outside diameter of the case tube to find the opening size of the crown. Record the post size measurement on your notepad. The last measurement you will need to find is the tap size of the stem and crown. To do this, you will need to remove the watch stem. For help doing this, please check out this video. Once you have removed the stem of the watch, take your digital gauge and use it to measure the outside diameter at the threaded end portion of the stem. If the stem has been damaged and you cannot measure the threaded portion, you can use the stamped number on the movement itself to look up the correct size stem and tap for the watch. Record the measurement of the tap size. Once you have all three measurements in hand, you are ready to order your new watch crown. Browse Esslinger.com selection and find the crown that suits your watch. To order your new watch crown, or to just learn more about removing, replacing, and measuring watch crowns, visit Esslinger.com today.